Today we're showcasing a brand new floor plan which features a covered patio, a minimalistic interior, and a style we've not yet seen on this channel. Welcome to the Onyx 2630. One of the coolest things about this floor plan is this covered four by eight foot patio out in front of the home. A couple of unique features about this covered patio are the pot lights in the ceiling, you've got two accent lights on either side of the door, and you also have plug-ins down to my left here on the floor. And though this patio is only about four feet in depth, as you can see, you can still fit full-size outdoor furniture on here. You could put a little coffee table in the center here, and all the while you have a great view out front of your home to look at while you're sipping your coffee. And one of my favorite parts about this covered patio area is having the accent beam off to my left, which accents really well with the black exterior of the home. One of the first things you notice when you walk into this home is just simply how grand of an entrance you get. And that's thanks to the really large windows above the door and the window panes inset into the doors. And I especially love these windows up here because it really gives off a cabin or chalet feel. And one of the really cool design elements of this entryway is you'll notice that the doors and the windows is in perfect symmetry with the walls and the ceiling. So once you get past the entrance of the home, you end up in the living space. And as you can see, off to my left here, you have enough room for a full-size couch. You've got room in the middle for a coffee table. And then on the opposite wall here, you've got enough room to either put decorative items or a TV on the wall as well. One thing to note about this space is that you'll notice there's lots of room on this wall to put different items. And the benefit is that you have two by four framed walls, which means you can actually mount things to the wall. So in this case, instead of having a picture or a TV and you wanted to do floating shelves instead, you could actually do that here. And similarly, on this side, over top of the couch, you could do the same thing. One of the benefits of having the living room in this space here is having all of the window space around the living room. So you've got three windows off to my right hand side here, one behind the couch on the wall. All of this contributes to the amount of light you get in the space and it makes it feel really bright and open. Moving forward in the home, once you're past the living room, you enter the kitchen and the dining area. Off to my left here, this is normally where you're gonna find some sort of bar table top. You're gonna have a couple stools beneath so you can eat and look out these three windows. The nice thing about these three windows is that first of all, they're letting in all that natural light and it gives you a view to the outdoors, but the windows also open, they all have screens on them and they're dual pane. Moving forward in the home, we finally arrive in the kitchen area and there's a few things I wanna highlight about this kitchen area. Number one is the prep space. If you take a look at the countertop, you'll notice off to the left-hand side, you've got lots of room to prep there. You've got a little bit of space between the sink and the stove top here in the middle. And then further to my right here, you actually have more space. In addition to that prep space, you also have four outlets. So you can put a toaster over here, a coffee maker over here, and still have room to plug in different appliances throughout the kitchen here. Next, we have storage. You'll see above me here, we have overhead cabinets. And one thing I really like about these upper cabinets is they have a grooved bottom on the face of the cabinet, which makes it really easy to open and close. So we've got two large cabinets above the kitchen sink here. Further to the right, next to the microwave, we have one more cabinet, another one above the microwave, and then two more on the right side of the microwave down here. Another area you could utilize in here for storage is above the kitchen cabinets. And I know for a lot of you, this might be out of reach. For reference, I'm 6'4", so I'd be able to kind of put things up here and take them down fairly easily. But just know that is a place where you could put additional items. So much like the upper storage, you'll find you have plenty of lower storage as well in the form of cupboards and drawers on both the left and the right side of the oven. And speaking of oven, let's talk about appliances. Right in front of me here, you'll find a black kitchen sink, which matches really well with the lower cabinets. Moving on down the line to my right, you'll find a stainless steel microwave, a stainless steel gas cooktop, and a stainless steel oven below it. And then turning around, you have a stainless steel fridge and freezer. On this half of the kitchen, you'll also notice additional storage in upper cabinets and lower cabinets. One really unique aspect to this kitchen is this area right here. And this area I would likely use as a bar, 
but you could use it for maybe a little coffee bar, a spot to put your toaster, or anything else that you need stored away. But it's a very cool accent space, and I love that they've included it in this floor plan. And lastly, the thing that really ties this space together is the white subway tile backsplash on this side of the counter, and even in the little bar space over here. Finally, at the very front of the home, we have the bathroom. And though the bathroom is small, you'll find you have everything you would need in a traditional bathroom space. One design element that they've added here, and I really like, is this frosted door. The reason I like having a frosted door here is that it lets in light, but it still separates the two rooms. And because this bathroom is so small, it is nice to have a little bit of additional light to come through. So once you're in the bathroom, like I said, you're gonna find everything you need. Off to the right hand side, you have a residential toilet. Next to it, you have your vanity, mirror on the wall, and a little bit of storage beneath. Behind me here, you have a shower. Although it be small, you do have a shower. And then right next to the shower, you have a two-in-one combo unit here. And last but not least, we have the loft. But before we head up there, you'll notice above me on the wall here is our mini split heating and cooling system. So really quick, this home has a few different sources of heating and cooling. Number one is gonna be this up here on the wall. So this is an electric source of heat and air conditioning. You also have in multiple locations around the home in wall heat registers. And finally in the floors, you'll find an in-floor forced air propane furnace. So first things first, as you can see, I'm sitting upright on a mattress here, and I do have a little bit of headroom above me, but this is not gonna be a space that you can stand in. That being said, a few things that make this space feel bigger are the windows on either side of the home. What's nice about these is you can open them and let that cross breeze through. But more importantly, you have a skylight above me here in this bedroom. What's really cool about this skylight is that it opens and it has a screen. So you can open that up, let the fresh air in and keep the bugs out. So in this space, you have enough room for a king size mattress in here. Currently I'm sitting on a queen size, but you could get it a little larger. On either side of the bedroom, you do have plugins in the walls where you can plug in a lamp or an alarm clock if people still use those. And finally, right at the foot of the bed here across from me is a built-in storage cabinet. So in this space, you can put in your clothing, you can put in books or whatever else you need to store in this space. All in all, this is a very nice, very cozy loft. If you're someone who's looking to build or buy one of these homes, I've left all the information you're gonna need down below in the description. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.